friends i just wanted to share another meal in a jar recipe with you for pressure canning so hello and welcome back to the channel by the way i'll just lift you up so i'm not cutting half my head off there we go so i haven't gone through the cooking process with you because you've seen me make bolognese before in the instant pot and i've literally just used the same real same recipe really it's just browned some minced meat onion peppers tomatoes three tin three tins of uh, chopped tomatoes garlic oregano bay leaf usual seasoning black pepper haven't put salt in um we can always add a bit of salt when we come to warm it up when we come to eat it i don't have any canning salt and i don't want to use the salt I do have so I'm gonna wait till I can get some canning, canning salt which is currently out of stock at the moment I'm waiting for some to come in so it's a very hot dish this is a hot dish because I've just cooked it so the the um, jars are hot the other jars are just in the water in the can are warming up so uh, I've just got them out of the sterile, these out of the steriliser in the instant pot and the other ones that have been out of the steriliser for a while are just in the pressure canner without the lid, just warming up with the water. So I'll just move you down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then I won't go through the process with you of putting the cans in the pressure canner again like I showed you with the chicken, but I will show you just how I am um popping the bolognese in the jars ready for canning now i will link the instant pot bolognese in the air cards just so that if you want to go back to that uh, you can see that but also a lady had commented on my instant pot that she hadn't seen the end i hadn't put the end result on which was a very good point so if you see this now sorry i'm moving the camera a bit um you'll be able to see um the 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 end result of the bolognese if it's picking up it's a bit dark in here today isn't it so that's the bolognese sauce so i'm just gonna pop this in with quite a bit of liquid in each as well. We want an inch head space. This funnel is not as easy as my other one because it's better for the fact that it's metal, but it's not better for the fact that the funnel itself is very narrow. That doesn't please me much. So I'll have quite a lot of cleaning up to do. when i'm coming to pop the lids on the lids are just in the pan of warm water see i'm not very keen on this particular canning funnel because it's too narrow it's great for fitting in jars when you want to put ingredients in shop bought jam jars that aren't like your regular or wide mouth canning jars for this job it's not very good also i just want to mention as well when you're canning i would be tempted to put less seasoning less spices in than what you would if you were making it fresh and eating it straight away simply because canning intensifies the flavor so it will seem stronger. So I've aired on the side of caution and put a little bit less of the herbs and the black pepper in than what I would normally. So I've got quite a bit of liquid in this now. Let's give it up to the, I'll have to do some tweaking, I think. So yeah, this, this funnel is not ideal really for this job. I'm not sure quite how many this will make. I have done eight. Ouch, 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 ouch. Remember they're hot. So 
so we'll just have to play around with it a bit just to that bay leaf out over there out of the way you could put a bay leaf a little, probably a small bay leaf in each jar if you wanted but this is absolutely packed absolutely packed full of flavor now the longer you leave this in the in the pan cooking before you can it the better really but um right, get really done it's going over here come on my uh, my dog always insists on sitting right at my feet and when I get up off from a chair or like this stool I fall over him it's gonna cause me a mischief one of these days isn't he press that down as best I can right I'll oh, we'll just get the other canning jars from the canner I won't be a moment so we've got the other jars now out of the canner. Everything's nice and hot. There we go. Because it's, the food's hot, the jars are hot, the water in the pressure can is now hot. So there'll be no shock to the system for the for the bolognese. It'll be for the sorry for the jars won't be a shock for the jars you're not putting it hot into cold or anything like that so just grab my towel just to get, it smells so delicious i'm actually thinking <laughs> i'm putting some of this aside for tonight but we've had bolognese this week so i don't want to have it twice It just smells so delicious. Right, I think it's going to be a seven jar wonder this, which is fantastic, isn't it? Let's just pop this down. Right, I'm just going to get rid of that funnel now because, like I've said to you before, I find funnels more of a hindrance than a help. So I'm just going to try get as much liquid as I can now if I make a mess I'll just make sure I really thoroughly clean the jaws sorry if it's clanging and banging it's not very good is it when you're listening and all you can hear is metal on metal just I usually use a plastic spoon for this. There we go, I'll try and push that down a little bit. Put a speck on the top. So it's just a case of trying to get it up to that inch headspace as best you can. Pushing that food down. And again, it will be um, in the canner for 75 minutes. I heard somewhere that you could do this for, an, for just 60 minutes for an hour, but, um, and you only do it for 75 if there's lentils in it, but I am gonna do it for the full 75. Now, That really does need topping up. That's not up to the headspace. So I'm just going to boil the kettle. Because it only needs a tiny amount, I'm just gonna boil the kettle now and just top it up. Right, friends, because it needed such a tiny amount just to get it up to that one inch headspace, I just topped it up with a tiny, tiny bit of water from the kettle. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that normally if it needed quite a bit because I wouldn't want it diluting. But for the tiny amount that it needed, it really wasn't going to dilute the sauce. Not with all the flavour that's in here. It was, it was like just a little drop of water in each, really. So we're just getting the debubbler 
can see quite a few bubbles come in to the top. So yeah, I'll link that bolognese. I mean, it's not a traditional bolognese like the Italians do, but it's my version and we enjoy it. And to be honest, it turns out different every time. It's never the same, even though I do the same every week or every, not every week, but every time I make it, it always tastes different, which is wonderful, isn't it? It's always good. So now I've debubbled, I can just see that this jar, this jar and this jar need a tiny bit more topping up because releasing those bubbles, those air bubbles, it's just shown it's not quite to that inch mark. Now, the thing is, if it's too low, there's a chance that you won't get a good seal. So your, your headspace between where the food stops and where the edge of the jaw stop, top of the jaw stops there, that gap, that's the headspace. It is important to always check the guidelines of whatever you are pressure canning uh, to see what the headspace should be. Sometimes it's half an inch, sometimes it's an inch. And the good thing about the debubblers, like the one I've lost and I've had to reorder, um, they, they have the measurements on them, which I'll show you when, when they come and I do another canning uh, video with you. I know I've been really pushing the canning videos these last few days, but I want to get as much stored up as possible uh, for the for the winter months. Just, oops, just spilt that a little bit. Just get that cloth. Still, all right. It doesn't need any topping up. So we're just dipping it in vinegar. This kitchen towel. This kitchen roll. And we're just getting that top really clean, so that we can. Make sure we get a good seal. Now the chicken broth I did earlier, I won't know if that's sealed yet. I've heard a few of the lids popping. In fact, it looks like all of them have popped now. There was just one that hadn't, but it looks like it has gone. Makes a funny like pop noise. I will try <laughs> and get it on a, that noise on a video for you one day if I can. <laughs> but um, I was just upstairs editing the video and I could hear pop. It was really, really quite reassuring. So this bolognese is going to be fantastic just to be able to get it out of the cupboard in the winter and just warm it through. I can just add a bit of chilli to it and some kidney beans and make a chilli with it, couldn't I? like I normally would do during the week anyway if I've made this. Right, so that's the top's clean, and plus it's given me a chance to make sure there's no um, cracks or dints to the, the jars that won't compromise the seal. So I'll just grab my lid magnet now that I've cleaned them and we'll get these lids on. Come on. You don't have to have one of these. You can just pick the lids up if you want to. But um, I just like to use these. I thought I'd made seven. I've actually made six, haven't I? But six meals in a jar. So that's seven beef and seven chicken, that's 14. And this, that's 20 meals that we've made up for the pantry in two days. That's quite good, isn't it, really? It just goes to show, really, how easy it is to do. So, I'm just getting a cloth around that because it's hot. Oh, 
gooch. Finger tight only. Don't want to compromise the lids. There we go. It's always easier to go back a little bit just to get get it to sit. That's it, and then tighten it. I know it looks like I'm screwing it on really tight, but I, I really am not. I am only um, doing it finger tight. And I'm only holding it with the cloth because it's so hot. That doesn't look like it's on right, does it? It is important to get it on right. Oh, that went on straight away. So I'm going to get those in the canner now, like I showed you before with the chicken stew and the beef stew, and then I'll be back later. See you in a bit.